Welcome back, I'm Scott. I'm introducing you to the new VC500 Operator Controls for EnviroSight's Rover X Sewer Inspection Crawler. In this second episode, we'll look at how to operate the crawler in real. Before we jump in, note the emergency stop button between the two joysticks. Tap this anytime you need to immediately stop all functions on your crawler and reel. The two joysticks on the VC500 control movement of the crawler. As with the old VC200, the right joystick controls steering and travel direction, and the left one controls camera pan and tilt. All other functions are accessed through the touchscreen interface on the left and bottom sides of the screen. On the home screen, you'll find the three buttons at the top left are grayed out. You can only record video, images, and observations when there's an active project, which we'll cover in episode four. Below these is illumination. Any button that displays a wrench has fly-out controls. This particular button gives you a slider to adjust camera lamp intensity. If you have auxiliary lamps installed, you'll see a second slider for that. To hide fly-out controls, simply tap the parent button again. Below focus is zoom. The left slider adjusts digital zoom and the right one adjusts optical zoom. To the right of zoom is the camera switcher. With it, you can switch to the crawler's rear-facing camera or to an installed auxiliary camera. Next over is the macro button. It presents nine automated functions for pointing the camera toward different clock positions, scanning joints, and measuring pipe diameter. To the right of the macros are measurement tools covered in detail in episode seven. The next button launches the quick text overlay dialog covered in episode five. To the right of that are controls for the distance counters covered in episode three. Next comes reel control. This button presents a slider to adjust the reel's power in automatic mode and a button that toggles to manual mode where you can adjust both power and speed. The right of reel control is cruise control. In the flyout, the slider adjusts cruise speed. The adjacent zero button cancels cruise by setting the speed to zero, and the button below it pauses cruising while retaining the speed setting. To the right of cruise control is the toggle button for status displays. More on that in episode three. Swiping to the next screen, anti-roll protection appears at the top left. When toggled on, this feature automatically stops your crawler when it's in danger of rolling over. Next down is the camera lift. If a camera lift is installed, or if you're using a crawler with a built-in lift, this slider lets you adjust the height. Below that is the clutch. Here you can disengage and re-engage the clutch. If you're using the large diameter RX400 crawler, you can also switch between low and high gear or activate the rollaway safety clutch. Along the bottom, the leftmost button takes you to the setup for text overlay, covered in episode five. To the right of that is the measurement laser. Here you can toggle it off and on and adjust its intensity. Over on the right are toggle buttons for the SON locator transmitter and the status displays. So, as you've seen here, with just two joysticks and two interface panels, the VC500 gives you fingertip access to all the Rover X crawler and reel functions. In our next episode, we'll look at how the interface communicates the system status.